Welcome back to the replacements on WCWP Sports. Max Kester on the mic, taking you until 3 o'clock. Jordan Ladder back here as well. Uh, on the line right now, we have Therese Owens from TherezeOwens.com. And uh, that was the Miami Dolphins fight song, Therese, by T-Pain. Why does a professional team need an actual fight song? You know what? I thought they left that to colleges, but uh, after hearing that, they don't. That was uh, pretty horrible, and the bad thing about it is just listening to it again, it's going to be stuck in my head for the rest of the day. It's catchy. That's the problem. <laughs> Anything that guy sings, T-Pain, is catchy. See, I thought, I thought Auto-Tune was dead after that Jay-Z song, but I guess it's not. Now, the big story in the sports world, obviously, Michael Vick signing with the Philadelphia Eagles. Do you think that's a good move? given that there's going to be a lot of backlash from PETA and, and, and protesters? I, personally, what Michael, Dick, what, Michael, what Michael Vick did was bad, but at the end of the day, everyone deserves a second chance, and you know what? Someone's going to have to uh, sign him and put up with it, so let them sit out in Philadelphia in the cold and protest all they want, man. I mean, I'm, I understand what he did was awful, but at the same time, everybody deserves a second chance. The guy sat in jail for, you know, over 20 months, and you know, had his life put in shambles. It's like, I'm excited to see him back on the field. Yeah, I'd have to agree. I, he's he's done all the time in jail. He's come back. He's gotten himself a job. And, you know, PETA's come out and already said that they're, uh, they're disgusted with this. They don't want to, they, they, they don't approve of this. And there's probably going to be a lot of demonstrations against Michael Vick in Philadelphia. So I don't, I don't understand it. But football move... You think this is all right? I think, uh, personally, I think Michael Vick will be starting by week eight or nine. I mean, I'm not a huge McNabb fan, and once McNabb starts, has one of those bad games, you're going to hear the Vick chants. You know what I mean? And those Vick chants will be coming. They're going to be putting him right away in the Wildcat, which is going to be exciting. And, I mean, if I was any team, I would have probably picked him up. I just don't. It, what's weird to me is the contract. I mean, I can understand the 1.6 for one year, but the second year, like, you know, five or $5 million. I know nothing's guaranteed, but it's kind of a lot of money for the you know second year. Yeah, the contract did get me as well. Like you said, 5.2, I think it was, in the second year as the team option. Uh, but I do think that he could end up being traded, him or uh, Kevin Cobb, or, you know, he, he, going by your uh, assessment, even Donovan McNabb coming up next season, if you do truly think that Vic is going to be starting uh, by midseason. But moving on, Stefan Marbury has still been live streaming, and we do like to keep up with Stefan, one of our favorite athletes in New York, former uh, New York Nick, and he has gone on record to say that he's not on drugs. Nevertheless, his camera, his own camera, caught him smoking a little something. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about that? It's pretty much all in the video. He's, uh, man, I don't know. He's a bug killer. He's killing roaches every day. You know what I mean? It's like they. They got him. They got him right on video, and he's puffing. I I just don't know whether he forgets the cameras on sometimes, or he's really just mentally lost it. But I, I I can't figure it out. I mean, he's still going. That's the crazy thing. I mean, who knows? I mean, he's he's still tugging away at this, and that's got it's got to be weird just having your life on that twenty four seven. Talking to Therese Owens on WCWP Sports, the replacements. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's it's kind of weird how. He goes out of his way to say, I'm not on crack, I'm not on acid, and then he goes on camera where everybody can see, and he smokes uh, he smokes a blunt or, or smokes pot or whatever, and now it's kind of out of the bag. The guy's been baked probably this whole time, and, and like you said, I'm surprised that he's even still doing this uh, unless Justin.TV is paying him a lot of money. But has, have you been keeping up with the streams this uh, this week, other than the, uh, the the smoking? A little bit here and there. He's you know not as much. I was I'm not as into it as much. It kind of got a little boring after a while. You know you were shocked for a while, and now like he's taken to the point where really nothing shocks you. So what's the point of watching it anymore? But I mean I I don't even know if Justin TV they they probably gave him some money. They must have. But I mean he's not even averaging. There's not even a thousand people watching him. You know what I mean? Like on a daily. So who knows, man? And I mean, I guess he's already, he's not going to be signing with anyone. So I, what else can the guy do worse? 
you know? I don't know. I think he needs to step it up. If his, if his viewership is that bad, you know, maybe he should, you know, go to, you know, Travis Pastrana's house and do the Nitro Circus a couple times. Dude, he's got to do something, man. I mean, get someone else on the show because he's not selling it. They need a replacement. See, this is this is the guy who I think they should bring on the show if you need a co-star. Zach Randolph, who was uh, in the news, somebody accused him of uh, beating him up at a pizza place, uh, which is nothing new for Zach Randolph. He's he's been in trouble a lot. The the drug problems, his behavioral problems in Portland. I mean, he was okay in New York, but he's you know still an idiot. So so Zach Randolph beating up a guy in a pizza place. Do you think there's any legs to that? You know what the the it's it's a place called Barry's Pizza that's kind of like an after hours spot here in L A. in L A. where you know it's like a car show out front. It's Phantoms. It's you know the big ballers go there really late at night, mm-hmm. and there's always some sort of scrap, and there's always someone there someone there looking for some trouble. So, I mean, I'm sure it happened. the The thing is, is it's kind of weird that you know the his buddy calls him up and says you can make this disappear for 250,000 then calls a day or two after and says okay 25 and then 20 so there right then you go okay something's something's a little fishy with this story but I mean it's actually only 20.10 rebound guy on your team that'll hurt you you know what I mean the only guy that you don't want it's kind of crazy yeah uh, New Yorkers learned that firsthand. Uh, Shaq is going up against Albert Pujols in a home run derby uh, Pujols will be hitting towards the uh, the regular fence out in the outfield, and uh, and Shaq will have a shorter fence uh, within the field. Who do you think is winning this, this home run derby, Shaq and Pujols? Pujols, I mean, I know Shaq's got skills for a big man, but hitting the baseball is not that easy. And, I, I mean, it's going to be awkward with a, you know, seven foot two guy up there swinging a bat i just want I'd, I'd like to see what kind of bat he's hitting with you know how, how big the bat he's hitting with i would like to see the bat it's gonna look like a toothpick in his hand they gotta do something um, I, i'm kind of interested to see how this show's gonna go you know it's uh i know shaq is a pretty powerful guy but i'm kind of interested on in seeing how this show's gonna go i'm not i'm not thinking it's gonna be too great these athletes in their uh reality shows somehow never seem to uh turn out i mean you see there's no one watching the to show right now and from the first episode that looked like it was going to be a great show, and now you can't even get anybody to watch it. By the way, how did that, and we're talking to Therese Owens from TherezeOwens.com on the replacements WCWP Sports, Max Caster, and I don't understand how that show didn't just take off. The first episode, he, he goes to California, he hooks up with the real estate agent. That's gold. How didn't that show just uh, get wildly popular overnight? I mean, you take them to Buffalo, that was kind of cool, seeing the crowd reaction, you know, doing the news there, and then all of a sudden you have him going to Alabama and crying to his dad. Who wants to see that? Everyone's got their own problems. We don't want to see you crying to your dad. We want to see the lifestyle. We want to see the chicks, the cars, the fancy house in L.A. You know, we want, we want, we want your vision on life, and we don't want your vision on life, you crying to your dad. No one, no one cares about that, to tell you the truth. I mean, from my point of view. All right, wrapping up with Therese Owens on WCWP. Real quick, Kim Kardashian, blonde hair, thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs down, man. Really? She's a hot brunette. I mean, well, she's hot no matter what. I just think, I mean, I don't say thumbs down. I think she's gorgeous, right, no matter what. But she was just stunning with that black hair. But I guess that's, I guess that's just, you know, blonde or brunette. Who knows? But I'm, I'm more of a brunette guy. So it's, uh... Yeah, I liked her as a brunette to me. I like I like real. You know what I'm saying? She looked wholesome. She looked real, and you know she's just she's just a fame whore. I like the blonde hair though. I love it. And uh, lastly, before we let you go, did you get the new Madden NFL 10? Yeah, I was there at midnight last night. Again, I'm not even gonna lie. I was there at midnight. I've I'm actually getting ready to jump online here in a little bit to. Uh, play the first game i hadn't didn't have a chance to play it last night but i'm gonna be jumping on and uh that's what my friday afternoon and my weekend's gonna look like is all madden so if anyone wants to jump on and play me out there it's therese owens playstation 3 all right play therese owens online on madden uh therese owens is the username and therese owens is the man on the line with us thanks for joining us once again the website is therezeowens.com your best in sports gossip therese we'll speak to you next week all right thanks man have a good one guys